Hello Techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to update the existing work items by using invoke web service action as part of work item management project. Now, as a part of requirement, I need to update the existing work items in Azure boards. Let me show you that data in the Excel. Now, if you see over here, I'm having four work items with the titles over here. Now, these are all have been inserted or added or created these work items in Azure boards. Now, I need to update this existing work items in Azure DAO boards. That is my requirement. How can I go ahead and update the existing work items in Azure boards by using Power Automate Desktop? Let us assume you can see over here the work item ID 4. We are having iteration path as Sprint 1. Now I need to make the changes as sprint in the iteration path. And after that, the five, I'm going to make it as iteration path as milestone one slash sprint one. Okay. This is my first update. And after that, you can see the title I'm having for the work item ID three. I'm having create a bot. I'm having the title. I'm going to update it with full requirement. Okay, these are my two updates which we are having for the item ID 3, 5, and 6, right? Now, not only for the existing work items and also if I need to add new work items from the Excel worksheet. Let us assume I'm having one more task over here. In a such a way, I'm going to deploy the bot. The title is deploy the bot and after that, the remaining things all are same. Let us assume. In this case, how can I update the existing work items as well as how can we add the new work items in Azure DevOps? All right. Now we will see how to update the existing work items in Azure boards dynamically getting the data from the Excel as well as we are going to create a new work item in Azure boards as part of this session. Now, if you see over here, I'm going to update the existing records. So based on IDs, we are going to update the existing records. You can see over here, I'm having update over here, which is HTTPS and the dev.azure.com. And then we are going to give the organization name and the project name. Along with that, we'll give APIs and after that slash WIT and after that work items. There you can see whenever you're going to update the existing work item in this case that we are going to pass the ID over here. But in our previous scenario, if we want to create or add new work item in that case, we are going to pass the type in the URL, right? And then the method is post for adding or creating a new work item, whereas we are going to use patch method to update the existing work items. All right. Now we'll see what is the purpose of patch method. Patch method is used for making partial changes to an existing resource. Patch method is a request method supported by hypertext transfer protocol that is HTTP protocol which provides an entity containing a list of changes to be applied by using HTTP uniform resource identifier. All right. Now, if you see over here in my invoke web service, whenever I am going to update the existing work item, I will pass the URL as HTTP colon dev.azure.com slash new organization and after that the project there you can see over here i will pass the id okay and the method we will use it as patch over here now how can i differentiate which is the new work item or the existing work item now if you see in our excel that i'm having the ids over here for existing records we are getting the ids over here such as three four five six and the new records we are having the blank right in that case how can we differentiate if the id is blank or empty in that case we'll make it as create if the id is not blank in that case we'll make it as update all right now 
I'm going to create a new subflow that I'm going to give it as invoke web services and then I'm going to click on save. Now inside my invoke web services subflow, I'm going to use if condition that is if condition action. Let me drag and drop this if conditional action onto the workspace inside my subflow. Now the first operand, the what we are going to get it as part of the current item. That is, I'm going to check the ID over there, such as current item of zero, I'm going to check it out. Because of in the current item of zero, that is index zero, we are having IDs over there, right? Now I'm going to select current item, index of zero, then if it is is empty, the operator I'm going to select it as is empty. There you can see I'm having an operator is empty. Then if it is empty, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add work items to Azure boards. All right, let me click on save. Now let me go back to the main flow. I'm going to copy this three actions. That is one is invoke web service, another one convert JSON to custom object under one write to Excel worksheet. I'm going to move these three work items into subflow that is invoke web services. Once if it is empty, then I'm going to add the else part. If I want to update which are not blank, then in that case, I'm going to invoke the web service with the URL as ID and then I will pass the respective items so that I'm going to select the else action now let me drag and drop this else action onto the workspace. Now inside my else action, I'm going to use invoke web service action with the same parameters. Now inside my else part, I have copied invoke web service as well as convert JSON to custom object actions. Now inside my invoke web service action, let's double click on that. I'm going to make few of changes over there. What are the changes that we can make it? Over here, we need to pass the ID, right? How can we pass the ID? We are going to make it as percentage current item of index is zero. We are going to give it the zero. Why you are giving the index is zero? Now inside our Excel, current item of zero is ID. So that we are going to pass the value over here inside my URL. And then if you see the method over here, the method is patch. To update the existing resources, we are going to use the method as patch over here, right? You can select the patch and then the remaining parameters such as accept, content type and the custom orders are same as we have seen previously. And you can see over here, the request body also is the same because of we are going to add the title over here as current item of two and then the iteration path, we are going to make it as six current item of six, and then you can see the values are the same. All right, now what are the values that we are coming from the web service that will be stored inside my web service response? And then status code, it will be 200 if it is a successful request and response. All right, now let me click on save. After successful request and response, the data will be converted from JSON to custom object. This convert JSON to custom object will be used in the next tutorial. All right. Now for the time being, I'm going to convert the JSON into the custom object. Now our entire flow is ready to insert and update the work items from the Excel. Now let me explain you once again, if the current item that is ID is empty, then in that case, we are going to create a new work item in Azure boards. If the ID is not blank in that case we are going to update by using the url that is https dev.azure.com slash organization slash project and the work item id that we are going to pass it in the url all right now i need to invoke this web service in the main service main desktop flow so that what i'm going to do i'm going to use run subflow action now let me drag and drop this run subflow action inside my for each action. Let me drag and drop. Now what is the subflow that we are having? That is invoke web services. Now I'm going to select invoke web services and then I'm going to click on 
save. Now my entire desktop flow is ready to insert new work items or to create new work items as well as to update the existing work items by using this desktop flow. Now if you see in our Excel we are having row number six I'm having a new task has to create with the name of deploy the bot and then the new work item ID has to come up over here with ID 7. All right. And whatever the existing work item ID that is 3, 4, 5, 6, it has to update the values in a such a way you can see line number row number 5, ID 5 is there, right? It has to update the iteration to milestone to milestone sprint 1. And then over here for the new item, it has to give the work item ID as 7. All right. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. It is retrieving the data from the Excel. And then it will go through each and every loop. If the current item is empty, in that case, it will add the work items into the Azure boards. There you can see now every item, work item, it is going to the you know else part. And the last item we are having it as blank right so that it will insert the data inside the azure boards and then it will fetch the data and then it will update the data inside the excel now our flow has executed successfully now let me go back to azure devops and there you can see as of now i have only six work item ids over here now let me refresh this now you can see over here a new work a new work item ID 7 has created. Please deploy the bot and you can see the area path as milestone. Now, once it has been retrieved, it has to create the ID in the Excel. Now, let me open the Excel once again. Now, if you see over here, I got the ID as 7, right? For the task with the title as deploy the bot. The same as we are having in the Azure boards. Now, coming to the update, there you can see for the epic work item type epic and the item ID is 5. We are previously having milestone. Now in our Azure boards also it should be milestone slash sprint 1. Now we will see that. Let me go back to Azure boards and there you can see over here work item ID 5. There you can see upload the bot to control room. Let's open this epic. Now, if you see over here, for the work item ID 5, that is epic, there you can see the iteration is milestone slash sprint 1. It has updated the existing work item. Now, I will show you one more thing over here. For the item ID 3, previously we had the title as create a bot. Now, we have, now we have updated the title with create a bot with full requirement. Now we will see this one has updated successfully or not. We will go back to DevOps and there I am going back to the work items. And there you can see work item ID 3, right? It has also updated. There you can see I am having create a bot with full requirement as the title. All right. I hope you understand how to create new work items as well as update existing work items as part of this tutorial.